Hi guys! So I recently just came back from my Korea summer school. Uh, I bought a lot of cosmetic products so I thought I'll just make a really quick video. Oh my god, this is very awkward. Please bear with me. <laughs> It's my first time talking to a camera. I bought a lot of things from different brands and they were having a lot of sale everywhere so I went a bit crazy. I hope that this video will be useful to you. If you want to know more about any products that I'm about to try, you can leave me a comment below. I will pay more attention to the product so I can give you like more... can give you better feedback on how the product is, like the, whether it's suitable for my skin and everything. Yep. Some of the products that I brought back, I already started using them while I was in Korea. And I guess you can say I kind of liked it. So I'm still using it now in my makeup routine whenever I do my makeup. It's not really in order, like I don't know when I got them or like where I got them from. I went to Dota Mall, I don't know whether is that how you pronounce it. D-O-O-T-A, it's at Dong I can't remember the prices of the products that I got. Generally, all of them are cheaper than Singapore. So the first item I got is this. I got this lipstick from B Lot. The color is really nice. When I tried it on my lips at first, it was this very rosy type of red. I think it was a bit brownish when I tried it. But after I came back to Singapore and tried it again, I don't know why it became really like very red. And I'm normally not the type to wear like so red lipsticks. It's either like I think the redest I'll ever go is this. I went to Style Nanda. My cousin recommended to me this Style Nanda Waterfall Concealer. I tried it at the store and it suited my skin tone, like the back of my hand. So I bought it there because my friends were really queuing up and I was in a rush. But when I went home and tried it on my eye bags, because normally my eye bags are quite jealous, I think you can tell. Yeah, but when I went home to try it on my eye bags, it was quite uneven. Like it didn't really matte, it didn't really cover my eye bags. And I also bought their Style Nanda Matte Fit Foundation in number 2. It's actually on my face now. It's a bit too white for my face but okay lah. <laughs> I just use it. I got this multi finish powder from Skin Food. It has this really, I, I don't know what is it grapefruit but it's this really peachy fresh smell and I normally put it here and here. It was really nice and it was only, I remember this, it was only 6,000 so I decided to buy it. Before I was leaving Korea, I bought another one. So this is the new one. The current one that I'm using is in my purse. So I use my Laurier Mercier Loose Powder when I'm going out and then I bring this out to touch up because my face gets really oily throughout the day. Okay, I went a bit crazy with eyebrow pencils and because I wanted to try a new colour because this is not my natural hair colour. I dyed it before so my natural hair colour is like black. I got two in 07, this colour. And then I got another two in... I can't find the number. I got two in this colour. It matches the colour of the stick itself. I'm not sure what colour is this. Yeah, but I got two and two. And I'm currently using this one now on my eyes. And then from Etude House, I also got their colour my brows to suit my hair colour. Yep. And it's on my eye. It's on my eyebrow now. Mm. From Cleo Professional, I got their Kill Brown Waterproof Pen Liner. My friend recommended me because we went to Everland and it was raining really really heavily. So when we got into the roller coaster, we didn't even realise it was raining so heavy. So by the time we strapped on our the safety belts, right, it was too late to <laughs> regret. And then when we went out in the rain, my friend's face got drenched completely but her uh, eyeliner still stayed. So she told me she was using the Cleo's one, but she was using the brush liner. I tried both and I prefer the pen liner because it's easier to draw on and it wasn't so dramatic. Yeah, it's on my eyes now but I don't really use a lot of it. This is the brown colour one, so it's more natural because I'm still trying out eyeliners. I don't use to put eyeliners but I'm trying them on now. Oops. I'm trying them on now so yeah, I wanted to get like more natural colour. Came from 3CE, I also got this Tao Nanda Super Slim Pen Eyeliner in the shade brown. It looks like that. The colour is like, it's okay. I like the colour but I don't like how it smudges after a while. And it doesn't really like stay on my eye. So throughout the day, I'll just mysteriously find that it smudges or something. Because I like to rub my eyes a lot. I can't really use eyeliners that smudge very easily but 3CE was having sale that day so I was like oh, why not just buy and then from Aritam they were having like a 50% sale so I got some like basic makeup stuff 
right as you can see i got this contour brush but i don't really use it because it picks up too much product when i put it here right there's a very obvious like line and i i don't really know how to blend it well so i'm using like this brush i don't even know whether is it for contour but yeah i just use this from the urban decay one but i don't think this is real because i bought it from like Shopee. A whole brush set was like 1380. I didn't really use the other brushes. I only use these. I also got this foundation brush from Aritam. They don't really say what number or what is it called. But it's really, it's quite, it's very dense. It's not very very smooth. I think it's not bad for the price. I think I got it for about four, three to four dollars at most. And lastly, I got this. What do you call this? It's the sponge. Ah, oh, it's a sponge. Is it a sponge? I don't know square sponge to apply my silky gold foundation because i'm using this foundation now and the sponge that they gave in this was like wearing out so i replaced it yeah there's one inside here now and then the other one is like as a spare i guess so that's all the products that i'm currently using and i wanted to quickly film this video so i could start using some of the products that i bought but haven't opened this is in no particular order and i'm sorry if i'm jumping all over the place First, I got the Soothing and Moisture Aloe Vera 92% Soothing Gel Mist from Nature Republic So I wanted to try this because my face gets really oily or it looks really dead throughout the day I thought I could like bring this out I, I think I won't bring this out, I'll like put it in a smaller bottle Yeah, I'll just keep it in my bag so I can use it Next, I got this Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser from Cosrx my roommate who I was staying with in Korea, she introduced me to this brand. We decided to try their products for the 5 weeks that we were staying in Korea and I didn't have a single breakout. Okay lah, maybe like one because I was eating two heaty stuff. I had like one pimple here. But other than that, I think this cleanser is really good. I'm still using the one that I brought back from Korea and I bought another one as a spec. In Singapore, I'm not sure where you can find cost art right? and online shops or distributors that sell their products like Hermor. Is that how you pronounce it? Hermor and Altier. I think it's slightly cheaper but they're always out of stocks. From Etude House, I got their Play 101 stick. I heard a lot about this. I got it in number 2. I think it's a more natural shade. One side is a highlighting stick. And then the other side is the contour stick. I haven't started using this because yeah, I wanted to film the video. And I'm still using my Makeup Forever one. I'm starting to heat pen. This is the Makeup Forever one that I got. But I kind of regretted buying it because it was really expensive. And I don't really use the highlighter. Next from Too Cool For School, I got their, their Art Class by Rodin Contour. So the packaging looks like that. Oh wow! So nice! Well, thank god for my camera it keeps like focusing and like not focusing and the inside <gasps> oh nothing came out looks like that from skin food they were having a 2 plus 1 promo i got 3 masks i got 2 of these the egg white pore mask i got this skin food black sugar mask wash off i haven't tried these yet because i have too many masks that i bought back up so i haven't tried it from too cool for school i also got their egg cream mask set this is the pore tightening one. They have yellow color which I think is hy for hydration but I think I have too many hydrating masks so I just got this instead. Okay, I'm gonna open it. I have five of it inside. This is how it looks like. Okay, next up from Etude House, I bought their Moistful Collagen Eye Cream. I'm using the SK2 one and it's gonna finish and I'm not rich enough to buy another one. This is how it looks. And the... Uh, texture is really creamy. My friend is using their whole range and she says she really loves it but I don't know how is it like. Oh, it smells really really good. I actually bought it because it smells so good. It smells like the type of cream that you want to put on your face that makes you want to go to bed immediately after that. From Etude House, I also got their Pink Vital Water Cream. It's their moisturizer. Uh, the sales lady at the shop told me that she was using this also and this is really good for summer so she encouraged me to buy this over the moistful collagen series it's actually pinkish but i don't know why it doesn't really appear that way on camera it looks quite white it smells a bit similar to the moistful collagen yet different it doesn't smells a bit thicker the moistful collagen smells a bit dreamier <laughs> <laughs> from Etude House, I also got their water jelly cream. This is more for dry skin, I think. 
It smells very similar to the pink one, but it smells a bit more watery. And it's like the texture is like really jelly-ish. All the products that I mentioned just now, they have this, I'm gonna call it a spatula. Uh, they have this thing where you can scoop out the product, but I think I, I normally just use my hand. Also from also from Etude House, I got their Sunjong PH 5.5 Relief Toner. This is how the packaging looks like. The sales lady also recommended to me that toner-wise, I should try this brand. And oh my god, the packaging. <gasps> it's so pretty. Wow, I'm very amazed that my camera managed to focus on this. From Too Cool For School, sorry I'm jumping all over the place. I got their Egg Mousse Pack. This is their Egg Mask. It's similar to the Skin Food one. I guess. After I bought the skin food one, then my brother's girlfriend told me that the Too Cool for School one is very good. And I haven't really tried this yet. From Cause Alright, I got the Centella. How do you mean this? The Centella Alcohol Free Toner. I was using it in Korea and it's really light. Like, it really feels like you're spraying water on your skin. There's like no scent to it, I think. Or maybe just a bit. Yeah, I really love this. So I bought another one to bring back to Singapore because. Like I said, Cause Alright products are always sold out in Singapore. I got another of their oil free ultra moisturizing lotion with birch sap. I use it as a moisturizer, but they say apply daily to cleanse face before moisturizing. So I don't really know whether it's a moisturizer, but it can last me for about two to two and a half months. Well, the products that I got in Korea that I'm currently using now also, I'm using their green tea seed serum from Innisfree. It looks like that. I started using this in Korea also. It's quite watery, you can see it. Like when I shake it, it's very yao la yao chi. For the same eyeliner that I showed you just now, this one, the Cleo's one, I got a refill also. The packaging is like that. It's so pretty. Oh. And then the side says Kill Brown. From Etude House, I bought a Color My Brow refill. It's also in the shade number 2. Check it, check it. I bought the refill because I use it every time I go out because my eyebrow colour really doesn't match my hair colour and it's a lot cheaper in Korea From Etude House, I also got this photo hairliner in number 2 Inside, when you open it, it's like a pencil I tried this at the store and it was quite fun to play with so I just bought it <laughs> If I didn't remember wrongly, I think this was 8k so about $10 It's quite cheap This is the last item that I got from Etude House It's a Tint My Brows Gel so I've never tried this before but I think it will be a lot easier for me like I will waste a lot less time doing my eyebrows and the sales lady told me to get like a darker colour so I got this colour cause it will fade over time and to look more natural this is uh, number one it's very dark brown okay from Nature Republic also they were having a 1 plus 1 sale on their sun spray so I decided to get it it was like 1 plus 1 for 10k so there was a discount and then it was 1 plus 1 so each is like 5k won which was about $6 from Misha I heard a lot about this Time Revolution the first treatment essence I heard a lot of people say that it's like the replica-ish for the SK2 facial treatment essence and it's like one third the price or one fifth. It was 37k so about $43. This is how the product looks like. I haven't tried this yet. I'm really excited to try this. But I'm gonna wait for like my serums and stuff to finish so I can try this properly. Oh the packaging looks so nice. And lastly, I got this Pick Clear Blackhead 3 Step Kit from Tony Moni. This was 20k for 10 pieces and then she gave me uh, 4 pieces free for JD to try the black one. So 20k is about $24. So one is like two forty. dollars It's quite expensive but I think it's good. Lah. That's the end of my haul. I think it's really a lot of stuff. You can see like, how messy this is. And here, Ooh. thanks so much for having the patience to watch. And I'm sorry if I wasn't very entertaining because this is my first video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.